Hello guys, so I apologize for the no makeup and all of that, but um, I'm going to be doing a review. For those of you who don't know, I have been a Weight Watchers for two and a half months. I have lost 15 pounds in um, two, no, a month and a half, I apologize. Well, actually, no, it's been two months on the 11th, so basically I've been on Weight Watchers for two months. I've lost 15 pounds and for me that's wonderful because I've never lost weight. I've never tried to lose weight. I've just steadily kind of gained over the years, just a couple pounds. And I've just I've never actually like lost weight, I don't think, because I've never really tracked my weight, but I've lost 15 pounds and I'm really proud of that. Um, I want to lose weight, one, because I have a wedding coming up in August and Two, um, around our wedding I will be TTC or we will be TTC, me and my fiance. Um, so I want to, you know, just be healthy because I have had a miscarriage, two miscarriages, one confirmed, one unconfirmed. So I just want to um, do my very best to stay healthy and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some products that I really, really enjoy. Hold on just one. Um, I'm just going to review a few products for you. Okay, so I'm going to start with the actual Weight Watchers foods I have. So um, I'm going to start with these. These are Weight Watchers ice cream bars. And um, they're just ice cream sandwiches. And they are um, four points. There's an indicator somewhere right here. This tells you how many points and um they're really good i don't see a difference in between them and a regular ice cream sandwich but i'm sure it's like you know probably low fat ice cream and everything but yeah low fat vanilla flavored ice cream but i don't really taste a difference i really like these um and again they're only four points so it's a nice little snack to have and then i also have these chocolate cream cakes they're kind of like hohos but the chocolate on the inside is not um, white it's actually chocolate um, and these are two points um, I do really like these but the only thing I don't really like is that the icing on top of it is very like thick and it, it's just not very good icing but again for a ew there's some oil on this for my deep fry that's nice um, but they're just they're okay, but um, I don't like eat them very fast because I'm just not a big fan of them. But they're nice to have around when I'm craving chocolate. <laughs> okay, and then the rest of these items are not Weight Watchers foods, but I do eat them on a regular basis, so I'm gonna do a review on them. Um, these are pretty popular right now. These are veggie sticks. Um, they're really good and they, I can have 38 of them for 3 points which is amazing to me. Um, and I really like them. They taste like the chips the munchos. I don't know if you guys know what those are but that's exactly what these taste like to me. Um, I do want to try the cinnamon ones because I bet you those um, are kind of like the, the um, cinnamon twist you get at Taco Bell so I want to try those. but. Um, yeah, these are just the sea salt ones you can get at the ranch, um, you can get, they have, they now have, I don't know if you can see it, but they now have chips, um, but I like the straws, personally, and I do give these to the baby that I can eat, um, because they're soft, they melt in your mouth, and she really likes them. So, um, even if you are a parent, I do recommend giving these to, you know, toddlers. I love them, they're healthy, and... 30% less fat than the leading potato chips, so, um, yeah. Oh, and then the flavors are potato, um, like, um, spinach, I'm guessing, and, um, tomatoes, so each chip has a different flavor. They all taste like potatoes to me, but that's just me. And then these are the Special K Pastry Crisps. I really like these much more than I like granola bars. I like granola bars, but these are better, and um, they're three points, and this is kind of what the package looks like, and uh, the only thing I don't like is it only comes with 
five of these. So you can buy the bigger boxes, but these are really expensive. These are like three something just for this, just for five. And they're really good, but I will say they're pricey. So, um, and then this is one of my favorite things um, that I've tried. This is Stand and Light and Fit. Um, this is zero point on Weight Watchers. So, um, I usually have this for breakfast. And normally I buy the little containers, but they didn't have the little containers when I went grocery shopping. But this is vanilla. Um, I really do like the vanilla because um, I like to chop up my own fruit and put it in there. And sometimes with the different flavors, it just doesn't mesh well. But um, this is really good too with like cereal or just all kinds of stuff. But I do like to put bananas in here, strawberries in here, blueberries in here. Um, or just eat it with um, just alone. And there's no aspartame, which I like. Artificial sweetener. So this is really good. I do really recommend this. I love that yogurt. And it just tastes like normal yogurt, which I was surprised because the last light yogurt I had, it was like fluffy and I really didn't like it. But that one isn't fluffy. It just tastes like a regular yogurt. Um, I'm going to go on to the Nestle um, Creamer. This is hazelnut and it's fat free creamer. And I really like this one. It tastes like just regular creamer and it really has a lot of flavor. Although I do not recommend the French vanilla one. I bought a big container like this last time and I really didn't like it. It was super watery. I had to put like twice the amount of sugar in it and it just wasn't good. Um, I usually only have one or two cups of coffee a day. So, um, But this is three points. Um, so all I have to add is my sugar which is a point. So usually in the morning I'll have coffee and it's only one point because I use fat free. Now before I used fat free my coffee was two points because it was a point for the creamer but now the creamer is free so I really do recommend the coffee made creamer fat free. Just not the French vanilla. I didn't enjoy that at all. Um, the last products I have are these sparkling ice drinks. I really like these. Um, before I wasn't drinking any pop then I found out that <laughs> Diet Pop was zero points on Weight Watchers, and I know Diet Pop isn't good for you, but I really do have a lot of cravings for pop because I just, I drank pop my whole life. Um, I was not drinking pop for like seven months, and that was even when I was off of Weight Watchers, but um, I just ended up drinking Diet. Um, I will stop drinking <laughs> Diet Pop um, when I get pregnant because it's really not good. The aspartame is not good for fetal development, so I will not be drinking Diet Pop um, when I get pregnant, but for now, I'm drinking it. Um, I don't, um, I think I'll probably drink Sprite when I'm pregnant just because I'll need, I, I just, Pop is so addicting and it's so bad, but um, the Sprite is the only pop you're really allowed to have when you're pregnant because it's caffeine free. I mean, you can have like orange and, you know, caffeine free pop, but usually Sprite's what I drink with my last pregnancy. Um, but these are sparkling ice drinks and these are really good when I'm having a craving for pop and I really know I don't want to buy it right now. I shouldn't be drinking it. I have one of these. Or if I don't have any in the house, I have one of these because they're um, very citrusy and this one is a raspberry lemonade and this one is a kiwi strawberry and they also have a watermelon one now which that one's my favorite currently but these are zero points um, because they are zero calories, so I also drink flavored um, citrus water. The lemon tastes exactly like Sprite and I love it, um, but these are really good. Um, so that's all the products that I have um, to review here. So I really, really um, recommend these products, even if you're not on Weight Watchers. They're good for you and I mean cutting your calories back is awesome especially like simple stuff like this like creamer I mean this tastes exactly like regular creamer I will say that some of the flavors don't but this hazelnut definitely um, this tastes like regular yogurt and I'm really sensitive to taste so I don't know but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this 
And I'm sorry if it was boring, but I just kind of felt like I should do a little review. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye.